How to check text from Google Docs for plagiarism. When you are working on Google Docs on your assignment or another kind of text, you may need to make sure that you didn't use someone else's words. You can quickly check your text for plagiarism by using plagiarismcheck.org add-on for Google Docs. To install this add-on, follow extensions, add-ons, get add-ons. And here in the search area, type plagiarism. Here is a plagiarismcheck.org add-on. Click on it and click on it again. Here you will see a button install. Sometimes this button may not be active for you, and there will be a message that says that installing add-ons is prohibited by your administrator. In this case, please contact your administrator and ask to allow you to install this add-on. When the button is active, click Install, click Continue. It will ask you to choose the account you want to use this add-on from. If you already have your account in plagiarismcheck.org, please use this account. Once you choose an account, click Next and allow permissions to access your Google Docs by our add-on. Now your add-on is installed in your Google Docs. To launch our add-on, follow Extensions, and here you will see plagiarismcheck.org. Click Start, and on the right side, you will see a window with our add-on. If you see such a window that says Google Drive refused to connect, it means that you are probably logged in in several Gmail accounts. This does not allow our add-on to work properly. To check if that's the case, open an incognito window, try to log in to one Gmail where you would like to use our add-on, and open this tab again. It should work properly. Here is how the add-on looks like when it's launched properly. If you don't have an account in plagiarismcheck.org, here you will see a login option. So you have to create an account first and then you will be able to check text from Google Docs. I used my account that already exists in plagiarismcheck.org. And for an individual user, I am an individual user in this case, I have the number of pages that I have in my account. Once you create your account in plagiarismcheck.org, once you create your account in plagiarismcheck.org, you get one free page. One free page is 275 words. If you need more pages, you can click here and buy more pages. If you are using your institution's account, which means that your institution is already registered in plagiarismcheck.org and you are a part of this institution, in the most cases, you won't even see the balance here. Anyway, you don't have to do anything about the balance that is here if you are logged in as a part of your institution. When you need to check a document, it says how many pages this document contains, how many words this document contains, and you can click proceed to check this text. When you click proceed, it will take some time to check this text, around 20 seconds, and we will deliver the result to this add-on. Here is how the result looks like. This document contains almost 89% similarity found in different sources. Here you can see the list of the sources where we found similarities. If you see such a number, it means that we found similarity between the text that you are checking and the text submitted earlier from your account if you are an individual user. In this case, you will see your name here, which means that this document is similar to the document that you checked earlier. If you are a user of your institution's account, in this case, you will see only a number here. And this means that we found similarity between your text and the text submitted earlier by another student in your institution. In this case, please make sure that you did not copy something from another student's work. When you click on a source, you see the part this source is referring to. Also, we detect text in quotation marks. To see where it is located, click here to enable quotes, and we highlight the quotes with a different blue color. You can turn it off, and the highlighting will disappear. If you made any changes, for example, you fixed the parts that are marked as similarity and would like to check this text again, click recheck. If you would like to open a more detailed report, click Open a Report, and we will open a web version of this report for you. PlagiarismCheck.org add-on also allows you to run grammar and spelling checks. To do this, click here on Grammar. If you are an individual user, it will ask you to redeem three pages from your account and click Activate. If it is activated for your institution, you don't have to do anything right here and it will be automatically checked. I'm an individual user in this case and I click Activate. It will take a while to complete this grammar and spelling check. So this is a result. It highlights the parts in the text that could be a mistake and offers how it can be fixed. On the right side, we see the list of mistakes, for example, percent and percent. If we choose this option, it will switch this word to a correct version of it. Let's take a look at another one, scale ups. So here is how it looks. And it offers us to use one of these versions. Let's choose this one. 
and it is fixed to a correct version of this word. So it helps you to reveal your grammar and spelling mistakes, fix them to submit your text, for example, to a teacher. So it will make your work look much better than a work that contains grammar and spelling mistakes. By scrolling up, you can switch to similarity again and work with a similarity report. If you have any questions, please contact our support at plagiarismcheck.org. In the description to this video, you'll find the link to installing plagiarismcheck.org add-on to your Google Docs, a link to contact our support, and the promo codes that gives you 15% off when you buy any number of pages on our website.